Greetings, SHSP colleagues and friends, especially Paula, on the occasion of your being honored for your contributions to the school, the university, and the community. I regret that I cannot be in Chester for this event, but I did want to participate in some way in this celebration of Paula's work. I am not going to recite here her many contributions to the institution and the community. I instead refer you to my summary of her work that has been posted on the kudos board for her. One of Paula's talents that I did not, however, include in my summary is her interesting facility with numbers. As most of you probably know, Paula is a graduate of the University of Chicago, the home of the new math movement. And she brought new math to her budgeting as both director and dean. That is, she often based her budgeting on an intuitive feel for what would make sense given all the needs and projects her direct reports were pursuing she saw exactitude as highly overrated when it comes to numbers. And she saw my efforts to reconcile her humanistic approach to accounting with the analysis of the university's budgeting office as a great opportunity for me to hone my advocacy skills in support of her programs. Of course, I jest. Without Paula's leadership of the expansion of SHSP programs, Widener could not have weathered as well as it did the budget challenges that the collapse of law school enrollments presented. What I really want to highlight today is the personal impact that Paula's leadership has had on so many of us. I have been reminded in the past two years that a leader's legacy cannot be assured by the launch and establishment of programs, initiatives, processes, and even institutional mission. When new leaders arrive, much can be swept away in a remarkably short period of time. However, Paula, your legacy is assured because it is not based solely on your programmatic accomplishments. Rather, your legacy will endure because you touched so many people with your integrity, empathy, and passion for social justice. Again and again, I watched as you empowered those around you to become agents of change in the university and beyond. I also benefited directly from your collegiality, wise counsel, and understanding, even at times when I was delivering disappointing decisions. Your keen intellect and exemplary work ethic have consistently been complemented by your humor and your humility. The accomplishments of the Center for Social Work Education, the Widener Partnership Charter School, and the School of Human Service Professions were never portrayed by you as your accomplishments. Rather, they were always presented by you as the accomplishments of those whom you were leading. We usually talk about transformational leaders as those who are effective in leading profound change within an organization by shaping a mission in which most stakeholders feel a sense of ownership. And you have certainly done that. But I also believe you are a transformational leader because you have transformed so many of those of us with whom you have worked. I know that I speak for many of those gathered there with you when I say that I am so grateful 
for the opportunity to have come to know you so well. Knowing you has made me a better person. So Paula, savor today's event and enjoy the new opportunities for advocacy and continued personal engagement and development that your new phase in life present to you. Warmest regards now and always.